Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons, and this is going to be part 19 now. In part 18, we left off where Jake and Kirsten uh, had a really nice night out, psych. Uh, everything that they had planned basically got bombed and thrown in their face, and it was just kind of like a dating disaster. I, I don't know. I don't know if that was kind of a sign they shouldn't be meant to be or whatever the case was, but uh, they finally made it home and they were getting a little cozy, a little romantic, and um, they were going to try to like, you know, kiss and move it to the next level, but neither of them were feeling it because it was late and they were pretty tired. So that's kind of where we are in the midst of things. But before I actually, you know, start playing, I do want to show you all the few upgrades I made to the house. As you can see, Kirsten and Jake in a different room. This is Jake's new room. Um, I totally wanted to do these upgrades and I wanted to do them right. So I spent a lot of simoleons. We only have 537 left. So I didn't get to do the whole house like I initially planned, but I kind of went, I kind of went hard. I'm not going to lie. So this is his new room. We have an armoire, a brand new bed, some fancy little end tables, some throw pillows, and uh, a mirror. We also have the computer from Part 18 along with the desk. Just color coordinated dit color coordinated it to match everything uh this is the um new bathroom and so finally all of the bathrooms are decorated and i decided to make these kind of like the master bedrooms because they're connected to a bathroom do you see what i'm saying okay so this bedroom is still completely unvamped this was casey's old room casey now has a new room and connor is in it at the moment but this is her room it's kind of like victorian ish i don't know uh but it's really nice i like the kind of color palette i've been dying to use this like wallpaper forever so i kind of think it works but it's definitely loud and obnoxious so i'm not really sure how i feel about it but i kind of do like it so we also have her art easel and um the little telescope so we can do some stargazing and improve her logic skill uh this will be connor's new room hence why i moved jake and kirsten into the other bedroom because if they do get a little freaky that's disgusting that it's in his bed you see what i'm saying so we uh move them on over reed still the same definitely had to change the color palette in this bathroom because it was just way too modern for the rest of the house and i think that's pretty much all that I did to the house, I changed the floors and things like that. So slowly but surely, we are getting there. And um, Kirsten actually needs to go to work here in eight hours. Her schedule is a little bit later. Uh, she was hoping she could be here for Reed's birthday party, but I does, it, but I don't. But it doesn't look like she is going to be able to. Um, once Jake get up, gets off of work, I am like stuttering, like seriously today, aren't I? Uh, once he gets off at work about five, he's going to invite Taryn over or whoever and just going to throw like a little birthday party for Reed because he is going to be aging today. Uh, he will become a child, obviously, because, you know, that's that's what happens after becoming a toddler, right? Uh, and I think Connor also ages, so his birthday will be in part 20. Casey is just, like I said, taking a shower, doing a thing, um, getting ready for work. I think we're pretty much done with Thomas Castor, aka Mr. No Ears. Uh, we are going to move on to um, this guy over here, Hassan. I'm going to call him Hass because I really don't know how to say his name, but Mr. McLean. Uh, I don't know. I like his Fonzie hair. I do something about his swag that definitely caught my eye. And a lot of you have said, ditch Mr. Thomas No Ears and go with um has so i think we're gonna have to do that because he is just he's just too fine to pass up so all right we're gonna go ahead and jump in i think I've, I've talked way more than i should have well it looks like nothing's really gonna happen between the two because uh jake's rides here he actually needs to go to work now um so we're gonna have him go to the fire station i think kirsten also needs to go to work no she starts in seven hours so we can actually have her um take care of reed because no one else really can right now um it's kind of convenient i guess so she's gonna go ahead and feed the little guy on the floor i don't know what else he needs he really needs to work on his other skills like walking and talking and things like that but honestly i don't think it's gonna happen i'm, I'm just saying so we're gonna have her feed him uh, i don't think he really needs anything anything else maybe a little social so we will give him a, a snuggle and then after that Ooh, hey, look at him. Dude, damn. Ah, oh, I can't, I don't even have enough words in my vocabulary to describe how Jake looked right now. Mm. Ouch. Sizzling. Anyway, she's going to take a bath. We're also going to have her take a shower. Uh, I know Jake, oh, someone threw the freaking bills on the ground. Thankfully, they're only 129, but 
I know Jake has a lot to do at the fire station. He has to upgrade the fire alarm, the fire truck. Um, a long weekend away from his job has caused everything to pretty much go downhill, so we definitely need to focus in on that a little bit. Uh, Casey Springston just went to work for the first time. Another 50 years of the daily grind, and then she can retire. Ugh, that sounds fun. You can retire when you're old. Like, no bueno, no bueno. Uh, so let's see if where we're at here. Hold on. Super duper lag. Okay, so let's pause this. Let everything load. Um, the fire truck is at 26%, meaning when we do finally get a fire, it's going to go like super duper duper sonic slow speed. It's going to be very slow. Uh, the fire alarm is going to basically delay the message to us, so we probably should upgrade. I would say we should upgrade the fire alarm first, and then we'll go and maintain the fire truck um but he has he also has to go to the bathroom so maybe we'll just actually have him do his business first because what use is it if he pees his pants halfway through um upgrading everything right so and then we can maintain everything and hopefully we will um we will get back on track with that uh, let's see what else we can work on he needs to continue working on his fitness um I don't, I, it doesn't really, okay, no it does. It says improve handiness and athletic skills. Also, we need to be befriend our fellow co-workers, which I don't think we have any, to be honest. I, I haven't met anyone here yet, so how can we befriend somebody if we don't even have any co-workers? I don't know. Uh, Casey's first day of work seems to be going quite smooth. She wants to buy a bookshelf. Uh, Kirsten is now using the restroom and going to take a shower. Um, she's also Jeremy, so we probably should get her a shot later on. Uh, we need to improve our relationship with the boss, obviously improve our cooking skill. And a lot of you wanted me to get a pet. Now, I'm not really into dogs. They stink. They take up way too much time. And they're needy little fellas. So what I'm going to do is after she's done taking a shower, I will go ahead and I will adopt, yes, Reed, beat up peaches, smack them, son, get them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and adopt maybe a cat or something like that. I don't know. I really don't want dogs. Like I said, they're just, I mean, I love dogs in real life, you know, but gosh, in the game, they're so loud and they need a lot of attention and we've got a lot going on. So, oh, Reed, you need to eat. Oh gosh, what do we do? Kirsten, come on. Like seriously, I rely on this girl way too much. Come over here and feed her much. Oh, she did that already. And she broke the shower. But thank goodness there is two more where that came from, so. All right, let's have her hurry up and uh, get over there, feed Reed. What is Connor doing? He is at school. He's actually doing really, really, really well. Um, he has a B, so I think tomorrow. Right, he's aging, so then he should be able to have an A by the end of the day. So let's go ahead and uh, work hard. Connor never went to prom. Like, I noticed that. Like, Casey did, but Connor never did. Like, the option just never came up. All right, so while Reed is much, much better now, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, I guess adopt a pet from shelter. All right, so let's see what we have here. Uh, we have a lot of kitties that are available for adoption, which is nice. I'm more like keen or I lean to full breads. Like I love to know what type of cat I am, you know, adopting, but it doesn't really matter. We have a lot of different choices. We have Jeremiah and he's an orc cat. So he's a full breed. Um, he is an elder though. Uh, we have Jezebel. She's an older, but she is a mixed, um, an elder, not older. <laughs> we also have Echo. Uh, she's an adult. Then we have Diddy, and he is a Persian, and he is gorgeous, like super duper duper fat and fluffy. We also have JJ, and he's also an elder. And then last but not least is Ilya. Um, she is a mixed adult, and she is neat. Now, I kind of like her. She's really, really, really pretty. Uh, so it's definitely a toss-up between Ilya and um, Diddy, just because Diddy's like a little fat house cat. I kind of like that, and Ilya is just cute, and, you know, she's really pretty. So I think let's get, oh, I would like Diddy, but I like Ilya. Oh, okay, we're going to get Ilya, just because she's neat, and um, I don't know. I think she's really cute. So are you sure you want to adopt a pet? Pets come with many new responsibilities and need a lot of TLC. 
trust me, if we can handle half of the crap that's happening in this house, <laughs> a cat should be a breeze. Uh, we have about a few simoleons that we can spare decorating for her while she's being checked up and cleaned up and all that stuff. Um, so let's just go to the pet section. We don't have a lot, so we'll definitely have to just grab the bare essentials uh, for her. I really like this Bow Wow Wowser Bowl for 200 simoleons, but again, that's just a little too steep. Let's just grab this little red one. Um, really need to upgrade this kitchen. Like, it is driving me freaking crazy, especially because Kirsten's in the culinary career, and kitchen should be, like, you know, 100% right now, but it's just not. But anyway, we'll place that there. Uh, we can go ahead and um, we'll make it pink for Laya or purple or something like that. Something girly. I think purple's pretty. Um, because it's my favorite color. It says, congratulations. Oh, Jake has been conferred to the new title of sit stripper by the Twin Brook Town Council in recognition of his valuable contributions to the workforce. You have survived your first few emergencies and the town is still standing. Your service is not going unnoticed, but that doesn't mean you're a true firefighter yet. Only time spent in the middle of a fire will earn that title. He currently makes to 340. Oh, there we go. Uh, Dallas per week and works from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock p.m. So his hours, I don't think, have changed. So that's awesome. Uh, all right, so let's just continue on decorating for Lila. Or I, Lila. <laughs> we'll also get her a little scratching post. Um, not really picky about where this one goes, but I think somewhere tucked off in the corner would be fabulous. Uh, let's just put that. We could put it kind of like at a kitty corner angle or whatever um, right there. Breed is aging today, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of put his swing away. I'm just going to make more room and not clutter up the living room so much. Uh, so we have a scratch post. We also have that <clears throat> bowl over there. What else do we need for her? We need to get her a couple of toys. Um, and then I guess... She's the family house cat, so we'll just also get her a little... Now, cats pretty much sleep anywhere, so I think that's what we will use for now. Um, those should work just fine. I think that's enough for her. Uh, now, let's go ahead and um, have Kirsten here clean up downstairs and fill the little bowl. I think Reed is good. Um, looks like he needs to go to the bathroom. Is he potty trained yet? No, he's totally not potty trained yet, so before she does that... Let's go ahead and uh, potty train Reed really, really fast. It is raining again, you guys. Oh, it's absolutely terrible. I cannot wait for summer. Um, all right, and then we'll have her fill the bowl, clean up, and maybe make... Ah, where am I going? Uh, make some food or serve lunch. We'll go ahead and do organic chili con carne and... There is a emergency that Jake needs to respond to. Ooh, that is super duper duper loud. Between the rain and like the alarms, it's nuts in here. It's definitely a party in this let's play, so. It looks like it is a small house fire on the other side of town. Holy crap, look at you guys. You can totally see the smoke from like a mile away. While we're waiting for Jake to uh, hurry up in a slow fire truck, I'm already here and this house is definitely on some serious fire. Like it is burning up in here. Um, hopefully we can salvage it um, and still get a decent score. I have no idea. He is so far away. Look how far he is. We are never going to get there. We're going to have the worst score ever. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the formal dance is happening soon. Yada, yada, yada. Um, Carpool will arrive in an hour for Kirsten. Uh, let's see. He wants to go to prom, but he's going to age tomorrow. Uh, let's see when prom is. It doesn't say, so let's go ahead and look at his school really quick just to find out if maybe um, he will be able to attend prom or not. Let's see. Go to prom. It, the dance is on Thursday. Yeah, he will be aged up by then. So unfortunately, uh, looks like Connor is going to miss prom, but that's not that big of a deal. Jake is seriously bombing on this. Okay, we are almost there. All right, so let's go ahead and um, see what we can do to save these poor sims. So far, we have been on this job for two hours and six minutes. Uh, our grade is still currently an A, but I think if we go past three hours, it's going to be a B, which means less money for us. Um, the person that started this amazing before fire, you know, 
uh, said, I was burning a little incense when things got out of control. Help. Um, looks like Lyla is here. Lila. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I should have named her something else. Uh, here is your new pet, Laya. Please give her love and give her a wonderful home. Um, so everyone is super duper excited about their brand new pets. I do think... Oh, crap. Okay. Um, right after Kirsten here takes in Lila. She has to actually go to work. Um, so that means we're going to have to get a babysitter for Reed. However, it says, you put out the small house fire. Um, completion result is 2 hours and 44 minutes. It took him, and we got a grade uh, A. Uh, Jake has successfully handled a big emergency, and we will always remember keeping his cool under pressure. Um, so we're going to actually just have him go back to work, and he needs to seriously upgrade the, um, the whatchamacallit. He needs to upgrade the fire truck and everything because that is absolutely ridiculous. Like, that was painful to watch. It was so slow. But every time he gets into the outfit, I'm not going to lie, it makes up for it. So we'll have him go back there. Uh, let's see how Kirsten's doing. Oh, nice. Did Connor make it home? Sweet. Seriously? No. No, he didn't. So is, like, Jake by himself? Or is Reed by himself? Huh, weird. I don't know what he's doing. He's really, really hungry right now. Uh, so we'll have him actually just uh, go home and eat. Casey's almost off of work, and the sun is coming out finally. Oh, I hate the rain, especially when I'm filming Let's Plays. Like, it just, it's so loud, and you, then you can't hear me, and it just causes so many damn problems. So we'll have Connor do his thing. We'll check on Jake. Uh, I think he's going to be driving. Look at it. Just listen. Like, that thing totally sounds like a big piece of crap. <laughs> um, it's going to be a while, so we'll just... Uh, We'll go check on Casey. Casey has left work and earned 235 simoleons today. Congratulations, Casey. Oh, look who just walked out of work. Oh, Taryn, nice to meet you. I wonder what she's doing. Let's, let's stalk her a little, shall we? I don't know. All right, so let's uh, have Casey. Ooh, she wants to go to a dive bar. I'm not really sure if any are around. Um, we can just... Oh, crap. No, she wanted that. Oh, uh, whatever. She wanted to finish the book, but I just exited out of it. But we will click the um, go to a dive bar because maybe we can hang out with Hassan for a little. Uh, let's go ahead and see where he is. We're going to give him a quick call just to see how he is doing and make our first move. And I do not know what she's wearing. Like, seriously, what is this get up to work? Um, wow. Okay. I don't know. I guess that's her uniform. The only one that's technically a um, dive bar at the moment is the Twin Brook Ice Lounge. We've been there like a million freaking times, and I really don't want to go there. So we'll actually just go to the red, um, this one, the red rend. <laughs> I know this is like some sort of like word in French, and every time I like say it, I get corrected, and I still don't know how to say it. So yeah, we'll go there. We'll go hang out for a little bit. Hopefully, I don't know what she's doing in the building right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Hopefully he'll um, be a cool cat and uh, no, okay, he won't. He says no. <laughs> I'm not interested right now. So, and Connor has just improved his cooking skill to level two, and he can prepare grilled cheese and goopy habanera, uh, delicioso. So that's cool. At least he's actually following his mother's footsteps in that respect. I think we're gonna have um, Jake at least get the fire truck to 50%, um, if we can, and then we will throw. Uh, a party for Reed because you know we kind of need to do that and unfortunately Kirsten's not going to be there so you know Taryn's going to be more than excited to come and uh, you know hang out for a little bit uh, I wanted to invite Drea over too but um, I don't know if she'll come but all right so we're just going to actually have him go home I mean it is his kid's birthday oh and it is 52 percent so that works he is working so damn hard at his job and um, call for protector you can do that? What the heck does that mean? Oh, if someone makes a promise to protect you, you can call for them? Wow, I did not know that. I've never, ever, ever seen that interaction before. So Kirsten is his protector, and he can call for her whenever he feels like he's in danger. So uh, we're going to actually just have him go straight on home to his house uh, let's go check up on Connor and see how he's doing with that goopy cabanera. Or no, the chili con carne. Um, Lila, or Laya is doing good. She's about to have some munchies. 
Oh, look at there. She's so cute. She has like a nice little bangle design. Oh, wow. She's a really pretty kitty. She ages in 25 days, so we'll actually have her for quite a while, which is nice. Um, she doesn't really like Jake. She wants to hiss at him. I don't know. She's never met him before, so I don't really understand what her problem is. Um, she's acting like quite a puss right now. Uh, Connor's grabbing a bowl of this. Jake should be just about on his way home, and he is. So, um, I know, sweetie. You're really hungry. <laughs> Let's have him pay the bills, though. All right. And, uh... Then, I guess, since we are on the lot, we can go ahead and uh, throw a party. But I'm looking at this book right now. I'm thinking, is it worth any simoleons? Yes, it's actually worth 60, which is fan-freaking-tastic. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, throw a party for Reed, because he's going to become a big boy today. And um, I'm excited to actually see what he looks like. I already saw what he looks like, because I'm really impatient when it comes to Sims aging. So, I already know what he looks like. Um, but I kind of forgot already, so I don't know. <laughs> We can invite quite a few different sims. We'll do a birthday party. We'll set it for 8 o'clock. It's already really late, you guys. Um, and we're just going to make it like a really casual, private kind of thing. We're going to only really invite Taryn, I think, and Drea, because she's like a, uh, you know, our family friend. And we don't really have anyone else. I mean, I could invite, like, the you know, everybody, but I really don't want to make it a big shenanigan. So let's just invite Taryn and Drea. Jake's party is starting soon. A little setup might be in order. Um, oh, it looks like that chili was super hot for Connor because he's like holding his head right now. Yeah, it says spicy, hot. It's like a three alarm fire in your mouth and no one called the fire department from eating ghost chili. That's another thing I actually want to do is I want Kirsten to kind of start a garden, but um. I'm not exactly sure like where we would put it because our lot is a little tiny, but we could probably figure something out. So uh, we'll leave that out for our guests. We need to go ahead and purchase a cake for Reed. Um, the second they get there, we're going to go ahead and at least the second Taryn gets here. Um, Treya is our next door neighbor, so it shouldn't take her too long. We're just going to have him blow out the candles. I really don't want to make this like a big old episode because... You know, he's only becoming a child, but when he becomes a little bit older, um, we'll do more of, like, a party. All right, so anyway, let's just get out of that section because we could be here forever. Uh, we'll have Jake, if he can, ever so kindly repair the shower. Is it still making peeing sounds? No, it's not. Oh, no, it totally is. Instead, we'll just have him call the repair technician because that is going to drive me super duper crazy for hours. Uh, he needs to use the bathroom. Oh, no, he actually needs to take a shower because he stinks. After he makes a little bit of a phone call, we will, uh, let him grab... I don't know. We're actually just gonna have to have him hang up... Hang, uh, wait for a split second, um, until everyone comes. Let's get Casey out of this horrendous, horrendous, uh, career attire here <laughs> and change her into just her regular everyday outfit, um... While she's waiting and while we're waiting for the guests, we're actually just going to go ahead and uh, call Hassan one more time. Probably thinks we're some sort of like creepy little stalker, but you know what? At least Casey's cute, you know? And Thomas is just... I can't... He still looks like a little kid. And, you know, I keep seeing the money thing, but it's just it's just not enough. Um, I'm at work right now, and I don't know when I will be done. Oh, my God. Where does he work? <laughs> All right. Anyway, the first guest has arrived. Uh, it's time to start the party. Make sure everyone has a good time. Uh, she's going to come in and drop off this plate of yummy young, uh, young, young, onion rings. You know, probably Connor's going to dig on in. Where is he? Oh, no. A fight has broke out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, a fight has broken out between the pastry chef and the saucer sir, over who used the last of the ketchup. Is that? doesn't look like how you spell ketchup. Anyway. Should Kirsten try to stop or just watch like everybody else? Uh, she needs to help because that's just how she is. She sticks her nose into things that she shouldn't. Um, I appreciate Sims who take it upon themselves to learn a new craft. Uh, Kirsten breaks up the fight but gets ketchup everywhere. <laughs> and the boss and co-workers are impressed. That is so funny. Oh my gosh, I wish it was kind of her that actually got involved in that uh, little spat there. Uh, let's be nice and, you know, go ahead and, uh, greet Taryn. Uh, let's just, I don't know what we should do. Um, we should be friendly and 
I guess we'll gossip because there's really nothing else we could say. All right, sorry guys. There was like a little bit of like a traffic jam going on in this hallway. Like everyone was fighting to go through this doorway when clearly, y'all, there's two. I, I don't understand why Sims do that. They were like jam freaking packed <laughs> in this little like doorway here. Uh, Drea is here and she brought something that looks very, very delicious. Ooh, it's deep fried fritter. I don't know about you guys, but I can see some Sims getting hella fat. And look at her with her little sassy ass. Like, she's super duper duper cute. I love her. Uh, Casey is reading a book, and they are gossiping about vegetables, huh? Uh, Reed is still up there playing with his little xylophone. Let's just go ahead and, you know, greet Taryn really, really quick. Um, <laughs> let's see what the gossip's about. Let Drea put that down real fast. And uh, Connor needs to seriously start working out again because he is getting a little obese. Did you know Nick Knack is filthy rich? Like, why is he the center of every single freaking conversation? And for some reason, we cannot use the birthday cake. And why can't we use the birthday cake? Any reasons why we can't use? Okay, there we go. Blow out candles. Uh, read Hobbs. And, oh, we should have waited. Because Kirsten's going to be here in just a second. So hopefully uh -huh. she'll make it just in time. Um to see Reed age, but at the same time, she kind of doesn't want to see Taryn, because, like, that's awkward, so, I mean, if she doesn't, she's not complaining. Reed Hobbs is having a party, come one and come all. Uh, Kirsten earned 230 simoleons today, and child mag magicians also, uh, <laughs> often grow up to be adult biologies. Yeah, sure. I promise you all, I'm very capable of reading, but for some reason, whenever I'm reading something out loud, like, I totally screw up. It's always been like that since I was super, super, super little. Don't make fun of me, please. Um, let's see, we got, we got Reed, and we got this creepy, like, Juan guy in our freaking, um, whatchamacallit, in our house. Like, he's super creepy. He looks like a lobster. Uh, it says, Jed Stern wants to know if Casey wants to go on a date. No, thank you. I don't know you. And I don't appreciate you randomly freaking calling me either. It's kind of creepy. Uh, Connor's outside talking to Hassan McLean? Wait, whoa. Wait. When does that happen? Hassan is <gasps> so sexy. But he is also our, um... Our whatchamacallit, oh, our repairman. So this also explains why Casey breaks everything because like who wouldn't, like seriously, who wouldn't want to break the toilet? I mean, even though it's an embarrassment to yourself to get this guy to come plunge you is pretty freaking exciting. So now I know where he works. He is actually the repair dude. Oh, Casey, I'm smiling for her, man. She's super excited. All right, let's get this party over with because your man's outside and Connor is totally chatting him up over here. Which is fine, because if Connor builds a relationship with him, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, we could have a reason to invite him over. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the main purpose of this whole entire party, and that is Reed's birthday. Um, I'm very excited to see, you know, again, what he looks like and uh, all that cool stuff. Taryn's actually over there shoving her face, but it looks like she's stopped to kind of see her kid age. Um, I really like the fact that Jake still includes her into everything, even though they're not together and things didn't work out. He, he really does have a spot for Taryn in his heart, and he always will. And uh, he definitely has a spot for Kirsten, too, so he's a big heart. He's all spots for everyone. <laughs> um, so this is nice. I, I really am happy to see the family all coming together as a whole and celebrating a really um, special moment. So. And even Hassan. God damn, he's sexy. Oh, yeah, buddy. And uh, Reed cracked his pants for the last time. Ooh, poor Hassan. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the heck? All right. So now Reed is a big boy now. And oh, no. <laughs> I think I totally jinxed it, you guys. Okay, so it's happy birthday. Yeah, we all know the drill. Um, that guy that I was totally making fun of about being ugly and hideous. Uh, you know that saying, when I looked into your eyes, you took my breath away? Well, he looked into Drea's eyes and she freaking sucked the life out of him because now he's dead. And he didn't look like he was that old of a man. I mean, I guess dyeing your hair does wonders. But now we will have the Green Reaper come, and um, Reed's birthday was successfully ruined by having a dead guy in the living room. How exciting. Um, yeah, I don't even know where the hell he came from. 
Oh, okay. Hassan still hasn't fixed our, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, you know, you know, the, uh, the shower or whatever, but, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end part 19 here. Just because, you know, I can see that this is going to go on for a little bit longer. And actually, I will pick up part 20 exactly where we left off in this part. And then, you know, we'll work around it. Because I'm sure you guys want to see what's going to happen. But it's probably really, really, really long right now. And I'm trying to not make my parts 40 minutes long. It's kind of hard, not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my very next Let's Play. Bye.